Hi, I'm gonna show you how to add texture and also the base to your slab, okay? So hopefully you've already made a slab. Here's where we're at. Um, keep it in some kind of Ziploc. I still have an extra piece that I'm gonna make into rolling it out for my base, right? Because this is gonna be the bottom of the actual piece. So once I've done this, I need to figure out what kind of I'm roughly the size of a pencil thickness or the size of pencil thickness is like your goal or the size of my pinky and I can see these little cracks just are just being kind of stinkers here so I'm working on that for a minute you're gonna figure out some kind of texture to put on the outside of this and so you also if you wanted to you could have the the lid be a different shape so if you wanted it straight cool but if you wanted it to be kind of a little bit of a different shape, you can definitely do that. So I'm just cutting it before I put it together. So it's got a little swirl there, a little crazy edge, um, not too crazy. And now I'm gonna stamp in my texture. I have this weird little tool that I have from Play-Doh. Um, you don't wanna go too deep, but you can just come up with some kind of pattern that you wanna do with texture. And I don't know, this might be all that you get done in one, in one class period, but it kind of helps get rid of some of those cracks. You just don't want to go all the way through. And of course, you have a lot of those ceramics tools that you've used for texture. You can um, wash those off and also use that because they might be full of clay is why. All right, so now I have some texture and now I'm going to put it together in a cylinder shape. When I put it together in a cylinder shape, I'm going to overlap and then I'm gonna to have to smooth that piece out. So right here, I'm gonna to have to kind of blend that together and redo some of that texture, which is not a big deal. It's just gonna take a little bit of effort. I will tell you, it's not easy. That is one thing. So I'm trying to get this shape and I'm like kind of pinching it. You can use a little water, but it's just not the same as clay. It takes a lot of kind of blending together. So I keep kind of pushing it together. What I'm gonna do too is I'm gonna hold this up and I'm actually gonna kind of roll the end of this knife to try to press on the table to help kind of have that stick together because my edges are not sticking great right now. I'm going to put a little bit more water in there to try to help that stick together. This will take your patience, I promise. So I'm getting it. It's molding together. It just takes a little bit more pinching and smoothing, pinching and smoothing. Okay, and now down here, I'm going to be doing the same. I really want those to blend, so I'm very carefully to blend those together and smear them together. And then I'm going to go back to this area to get that blended better. So it's getting there, but you see how I've worked on it for a little bit of time here. I'm going to add a little bit more water there. keep smoothing with a little water my edges to get as smooth as I would like it. So that's kind of how you make this cylinder form, okay, with a texture, with connecting it. Now, I don't love the way that looks, so when I feel like that's together, that I want it how I want it, I'm again going to take and take my texture and hold it in my hands and kind of blend that together so it also doesn't look so obvious, like, oh man, she really smeared that together. All right, so that's how you get the cylinder shape. 